everyone, it's Maddie, and this is my February favorites video. I am so sorry, this is coming to you guys so late. Like, it's not even funny. We're like already about over a week in it to uh, like March, and I'm coming at you with my February favorites right now. So, uh, let's like stop making excuses, Maddie, and get into the video. Okay, so I have. As usual, beauty favorite, food favorites, random favorites, song favorites, and app favorites. Um, yeah. So uh, let's just dive into the beauty favorites first. So the first off I see right here is my go-to um perfume, I guess you could say, from Bath and Body Works, and this is the Dark Kiss one. I'm pretty sure you can still get this, but the smell is still the same. It smells so good. I love it, I love it. I can't really describe it. It's like kind of like deep floral, but it's like perfect for wintry because it is still so cold here. And yeah, there's still like snow on the ground and school has still been getting canceled quite frequently lately. So I love this. It smells so good and I definitely recommend this. Okay, the next thing I have, I may or may not have, I don't think it was in my last favorites video but this is the Maybelline New York Dream Pure BB Cream I have been loving this for like a foundation lately it is like very light on the skin and of course it is a BB cream so it fights like all the um, acne and moisturizes it says it's 8 in 1 beauty balm so I definitely suggest these for summer, winter, really anytime. So the little go-to lippy for February is this Baby Lips Crystals and this is in 155 Twinkling Tope, 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 I don't know, Top. I don't know how you guys say it, but I love this. Get it close up. Sorry, that bag's crinkling at my foot. Um, but yeah, I have been wearing this like every day, just about. It's really moisturizing. Um, it does have a nice color pigment, and uh, I will insert a swatch right here. So yeah, this is really pretty, and I love it so much. Okay, so the next favorite I have is this EOS. It's another lippy favorite. This is the EOS in Vanilla Mint, I believe. I love it. It's, uh, as you can tell, I've been using it a lot. It is, it's like, it's like exactly what it is. It's Vanilla Mint. And it smells really good. And I love putting this on like before I go to bed, while I'm doing my makeup, anything like that. Just whenever I feel like I need a little pick me up for my lips. This is a go-to, and so is this one, like, put this one on, then this one, and they, they, boom. Bay. Like, bay. Okay, so my next beauty favorite is the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. Um, I really like this dry shampoo. It works wonders. The only thing I don't really like about it is the smell. I'm gonna regret spraying it, but... It's, like, clean freak. It kind of smells like lemony, kind of, like citrusy, and I just personally think the smell is really strong, but I love how it like, just gets rid of like the greasiness and everything. I'm going to be moving on to my hairspray, and I lost the caps, don't ask. It's been a rough February for me. This is the Dove Hair Therapy, Dove Hair Therapy, okay there we go, Style and Care Strength and Shine Flexible Hold Hairspray. I love this. Like, it is seriously bae. I want to repurchase this for like the next thousand years, please. It smells so good. Like, so heavenly. It's not even funny, and it just is overall great. So, I really, totally, definitely recommend this if you are looking for a new hairspray. The next favorite is the Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover by Neutrogena. I am really surprised that this made it into my favorites video because. I mean, I really love, like, uh, the good thing about it is that I love, like, how well it removes my makeup and how it doesn't, like, sting my eyes or anything, but I kind of think the oil-free is kind of misleading 
because when I use this on my eyes, like my eyes feel so oily. And like if I go and touch it with my finger, it feels oily, like grease oil. And if I get it in my eyes, it like feels like I got oil in my eye and it's like a little floater. But other than that, it's just, it works really well. It doesn't have a scent to it, which I actually really like. Like you cannot smell anything. My yeah. next beauty favorite is actually kind of like a makeup favorite. Yeah, I already have makeup favorites in here. But this is an eyeshadow palette by Hard Candy. And I've had this actually for a while. This is a naturally gorgeous one. Hold on. Hold on. We're getting reflection. Okay, maybe maybe if I just do this. There. These are all the shadows in there. As you can tell, I hit paint on this one. Um, the shadows are really nice. The pigments are nice. Um, I will have swatches right here. As you can tell, the pigments are really nice. And I have two more beauty favorites. This is the, um, it's another eyeshadow. Um, this, I don't, look, to be honest, I didn't get this. My mom had this and she gave it to me. It is the eye color. It's beautiful. Be beautiful. And anyway, this eye color, oh my god, it's called, it's oyster. The name of it is Oyster. And it is really pretty for like the nice neutral. But as a eyeshadow, like just for school, I love it. I don't really wear a whole shopping it. But I don't really wear a whole lot of eyeshadow for school. So this is just a natural color that I really like to use. And my last beauty favorite is a brush. This is the Real Techniques. Blech. The Real Technique. Nah. My goodness, guys, I cannot talk today. The Real Techniques brush, and this is the Expert Face brush. As you can tell, I by like, sorry, I didn't clean it yet, but yeah. Cause I just washed my brushes a little while ago. If you guys want to see a um, how to like wash your face, just how to wash your makeup brushes video, then like this video. So yeah, I've just been using this one for my blush, and I have been loving it. I just love how soft the bristles are. I love like just everything about it like I am dropping everything today anyway so this yeah just, I don't really know what else to say about it it's just overall a really good brush to have now I think I'm just gonna do my food favorite real quick um I would say favorites but uh, it's not it's just one thing like last time, I'm sorry. But, I mean, these have been all around forever. The the Doritos Nacho Cheese. Um, this is an empty bag. Me and my family have been hitting these up like crazy. Um, I don't know. I just kind of like really been addicted to them lately. They're really nice. They're delicious. Like, that's, I think that's like my problem. It's like, I love how good they are and they're so unhealthy. But, whatever. I mean, come on. Who hasn't ever had a Dorito before? And my random favorite is this movie. This is Monte Carlo. Let me just like say, if you haven't watched this movie, you should watch it because it is really good. Like at first I was like, oh, it's kind of girly and young-ish, I guess you could say. I just think it, it's so good. It's, it's so good. I don't know what else to say about it. It's I don't want to like spoil it for anyone who hasn't watched it. But yeah, you should probably watch this because it's really good and then maybe we can have like a little rant about it sometime in a future video. Okay, and then my next two favorites are wax melts for a tart burner. I don't know if I ever mentioned these on here before, but these are my two favorite. This one is just a mainstays triple sided wax melt and this is vanilla buttercream and vanilla coconut. And let me just tell you guys, I love these triple ones, like these ones, it's because you can mix them all together, and they like, they smell like a candle, but without the fire. I mean, if your parents won't let you like have candles in your room, maybe ask them about these because it's like a less hazard of burning down the house. I don't even know if you can practically burn down the house with these, but anyway, they smell so good. Like my favorite is whatever this one is, it's vanilla. It smells like cake batter and it smells so good. 
And then there's buttercream frosting and vanilla coconut, which I haven't used yet, but it smells really good. And this makes your room smell like cake batter and goodness. And maybe you could find a chocolate one. If you can find a chocolate one, tell me where to get it down below because I want my room smelling like chocolate. Like, who doesn't? Come on. And then the last one I definitely recommend. It's not, it doesn't smell like food, even though it is kind of food related, I guess you could say. This is a Febreze one. This is limited edition. Maybe you can't get it anymore. Got this more around Christmas time. And this is the toasted almond Febreze wax melts. Um, this just popped off. But anyway, oh my god. Oh my god. I have been like wearing these. Like, I've brought these to like. In the past couple of like weeks, not weeks, but like last two weeks, they smell so good. They last a long time. Like you can burn like the same tart for like three days. About I would say depending on how strong they are, they smell really. These ones are really strong. Stupid. I burn these for about like five days. But I really don't know how to like explain this. It doesn't smell like toasted almonds like at all. Like it's really refreshing. I don't really know how to explain it. I'm so bad at subscribing since. But yeah, I really have been loving these ones. Yeah, all these ones. Okay, so now moving on to app favorite. I'm sorry, guys. So my only app favorite because I'm kind of boring and these are like the only apps I have on my phone. I can do like what's on my iPhone. I mean, you have like the basics. Okay, I don't know if this is going to focus. Text message, okay. Focus, focus. So you have like the basic ones, and then you have like just this one little sheet of things. Well, it looks like I have like a rainbow background, but I don't. So yeah. I can do like what's on my iPhone and stuff, but I don't know, because they're kind of boring apps. So maybe in the future, when I get more because like I am one of those people who get like a notification about my storage like every day like it's that bad so anyway my one app favorite is Crossy Road if you haven't played this game I mean it is kind of old but I really love it it's like the goal is hold on I wait till it gets there the goal is to like not get hit by the cars or the trains I just died the basic like rules of the game is that you like the objective of the game is to get really far as far as you can without getting hit by a car that's kind of how it is <laughs> and then I have two songs two song favorites and it is lips are moving by Megan Trainor I know they're kind of like oldish like this year not too have anyway the charger just came out of my phone Anyway, your loves are moving in Sledgehammer, and those have been my jam for a while now, and I feel like I'm starting to lose my voice. Dang. Anyway, so yeah, those are my two song favorites, and I love them. You should go check them out. Um, Lips are moving by Mega Trainer, and then Sledgehammer. I don't know who it's by, and I don't have it to look up right now because I don't have it downloaded on my phone. Because, like, and my phone's deleting, like, all my songs because of my storage problems. Okay, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to enter our giveaway, which is currently going on, and get us to 100 subscribers. Because that would be amazing. That would, like, probably make me cry of happiness. So, uh, please remember to share that video and like it for more giveaways and comment to enter it and watch the videos to see out what you can win because I think there's some pretty cool stuff in there and remember that it is international so yeah that much that concludes this video remember to comment like and subscribe to forever fashionistas and don't forget to subscribe to our vlog channel which is forever fashionistas life nope it's just fashionistas life Fashionista's life, it will be written right here or right here or somewhere. Somewhere in the frame of this video. Fashionista's life. So yeah. Um, we don't have any videos currently up there now, but once we hit some more subscribers, hopefully we'll get some more videos up there soon. So I love you guys so so much and we'll see y'all later. Bye! My ears just popped.
the pace of resistance. Something just flew off the bed. I'll be back. 